This is George Gilbert. We're on the ground at Spark Summit 2015. We're with uh, Kumar Srikanti, who's uh, CEO of Blue Data. Kumar, good to have you. Thank you, John. So, um, what Blue Data does in a nutshell is takes uh, um, Hadoop, not, not just Hadoop, but big data as a service on your premises, combines the best of the cloud and on-premise. Um, so why don't you tell us a little more how it works? So what we realized is that there's a lot of innovation in the big data, but very little around the infrastructure space. So we're building an infrastructure software that gives you a cloud-like experience all around the big data applications. We are focusing on Hadoop and Spark. That is being the one of the most requested applications in, from the customer. You can configure different versions of Hadoop, unmodified, run on the same hardware. You can also run Spark native on, on, your, uh, on your premises. Okay, so we know from innumerable customers and their, and their struggles with the operational side of uh, Hadoop and uh, potentially Spark, we know that there are a lot of knobs to tune. How do you fix that? Yeah, so Hadoop has many, many configurations, but to bring the Hadoop and Spark to the massive, to the mainstream, we provide configuration, all configuration options available in Blue Data. But Blue Data comes with a prepackaged distributions that are available in open source. You can create a cluster with literally five, five mouse clicks, and you can run your jobs. I believe in what is called a fail-fast experiment. You can actually literally create a 100-node cluster in 10 minutes. You can run your experiments. You can go back and modify the parameters. We preserve everything. So there is an advanced option to be able to, for the people to be able to go and set whatever the parameters they need. OK, so let's start with, on the Hadoop side, which distros do you work with? So today, we support um, Cloudera, Hortonworks, all versions of Cloudera, all versions of Hortonworks. We are actually working with other vendors, including the ODP, Big Insights, and other versions. For us, it's a very, the way we architect it, it's very simple to add the distributions. We also sp support Spark open source, and the, whatever the latest version, 1.1, 1.4, I think, if I remember correctly. Okay. Now, with Spark, you were mentioning to me earlier, there's a new way of managing the underlying hardware, the resources. Spark has Mesos, it can run on Yarn, um, it has its own, it has its own um, uh, sort of new uh, file system that's memory oriented, Tachyon. Tell us how you work with yeah, those. Uh, Spark can run inside the Hadoop, Yarn as a scheduler and that is one of the one of the ways that the existing Hadoop vendors are incorporating Spark. We actually run Spark as a native because Spark does not need any of the Hadoop baggage per se. But it, it supports HDFS as one of the options. One of the things that we built in Blue Data is actually we actually support all different versions of the file systems. We separate compute from store. So we not only support HDFS, we support NFS, we support object store, we support other data in the Spark Spark can run native, and then we provide all the data that is required for the Spark to run, and Spark can run independent of the Hadoop on the same hardware at the same time with the Blue Data software. Just to be clear, when you say runs independent, that means uh, multi-tenant where some of the CPU and memory resources are de dedicated to Hadoop, uh, Hadoop jobs and Hadoop infrastructure, and some are dedicated to Spark. Very well said, exactly. So you, for us, the currency is the vCPUs. So you, let's say you have a 100-node physical cluster. To, to be clear, vCPUs means virtual, virtual CPUs. CPUs. So for example, you have an 8-core, uh, let's say you have a 100-node cluster, physical cluster, and each of them has a 16 um, cores. So you have a 1,600 cores. So you can take them and divide them and say, 400 cores, I'm giving it to run a Hadoop cluster one that's running Hadoop 2.0 from Hardenworks. You can allocate 400 nodes to the Spark, and they run independently, and we manage the resources underneath. You can actually pause the clusters, you can actually move the data, move the cluster resources around. All our compute clusters are stateless. They can be saved because they run on virtual machines. Okay, so um, to, be, to be clear, then would it be fair to compare you to like a VMware for Hadoop and Spark, except that VMware is too heavy, yes. where you you don't want an operating system on every core or or every server. Exactly. So we just announced uh, uh, in the Hadoop Summit last week, we actually have a Blue Data software that now is based on the containers. 
So we, we, we support both containers and virtual machines. We want to give the choice to the users, but the user experience will be exactly same irrespective of whether it is on containers or on OpenStack. Right. So just to close your previous question, yes, it is, think of us as a Amazon EMR-like experience on premise, or like a VM, VMware for big data. What VMware has done for traditional applications, we are doing it for a big data. Okay, just then the last question, simplifying the deployment and operation is a big deal. Is there a way to measure the savings in terms of admins per node or you know admins per 100 node cluster? Yeah, we have done uh, TCO analysis. It's very difficult to uh, do a, a reasonable analysis on the people. We actually did analysis on the CapEx. We have done as, as much as you get a 70% savings with the blue data. What we have not done is because operational expense is very subjective, certain people say I have 100 people, certain people, but certainly by reducing the number of nodes and number of switches and all the hardware required and the making it very easy to use, you can reduce the operating expenses very easily and we can actually demonstrate that. Okay. Kumar, um, just wanted to say uh, thank you. We're on the ground, Spark Summit 2015. This is George Gilbert and uh, we will see you um, later. Thank you.